Down low, Raymond. Chance to shoot. In just three short seasons, Lucas Raymond has already become one of the brightest young stars in the NHL. And in today's video, I'm going to break down Raymond's career so far, as well as look into his recently signed eight-year contract extension with the Red Wings and how it will benefit the Red Wings in the future. If this is something you enjoy, feel free to hit that subscribe button, as well as comment down below your favorite Lucas Raymond moment. Prior to being drafted, Raymond was a promising young winger who would often raise eyes of scouts leading up to the 2020 NHL draft. At 17 years old, Lucas Raymond showed the world how clutch he can be in big games, as Raymond would come through for his native team Sweden during the IIHF U18 World Championships in 2019, which was being hosted in his home country of Sweden. So with his country on his back and his team in the gold medal game against a highly skilled Russian team, the pressure was high for the young winger. But that didn't stop Raymond from showing the world his skills, because during the gold medal game, Lucas would go out and post up a hat-trick performance with a third goal when it mattered most, sniping the golden goal overtime winner. Following the 2018-19 season, Raymond would go on to develop his skills in the Swedish Hockey League playing for the Frölunda Indians, which is a top-tier team known for producing NHL talent. Players like goaltender Henrik Lundqvist, forward Daniel Alfredson, defenseman Eric Carlson, and defenseman Rasmus Dahlin have all played for the club. Raymond's time in Frölunda was critical in his development. In two seasons, he played a total of 77 SHL games and collected 30 points which may not seem like a mind-blowing number, but in the SHL, which is known for its defensive style, making it tough for young players to score. His ability to create offensive opportunities in such a structured league impressed scouts and paved the way for his NHL draft selection. With the fourth pick in the 2020 entry draft, the Detroit Red Wings are very excited to select from Fralunda, Lucas Raymond. Lucas Raymond didn't waste any time transitioning to the NHL. After many predicted Raymond to start the 2021-22 season for the AHL's Grand Rapid Griffins, Raymond would show Eiserman he was ready to make an impact in the NHL right away. Raymond showed his skills and scoring ability during the rookie showcase games and preseason. Due to this, Raymond would impress the head office and earn himself a spot on the opening night lineup at the age of 19. Making his NHL debut against the Tampa Bay Lightning, Raymond wouldn't take long to find his first point in the NHL, because on the power play in the second period, Raymond would get an assist on a beautiful passing play for a Tyler Bertuzzi goal. Just two games later, Raymond would record his first NHL goal against the Columbus Blue Jackets, ripping a beautiful wrist shot over the glove. And just a few games later, Raymond would record his first career hat trick. Yes, that's right, hat trick, in his high scoring game against the original six rival, Chicago Blackhawks, on the road in the United Center. At only 19 years old, he became the second youngest player in Red Wings history to achieve the feat. Larkin, Raymond, open, scores! Hat -trick. Lucas Raymond with a hat trick! Wow. Set up by Larkin and Sider! <laughs> His rookie season was promising for the Red Wings' rebuild. Raymond finished the season with 23 goals and 34 assists for 57 points, putting him fourth in voting among all NHL rookies that year for the Calder Trophy. Only 26-year-old rookie Michael Bunting and Trevor Zegers would finish with more points than Raymond that year. But what truly separated Raymond was his ability to perform in key moments. During his rookie season, Lucas had multiple game-winning goals and his on-ice awareness made him effective in all areas of the game. One of the most exciting things looking back on the rookie year of Lucas Raymond was his instant chemistry with Dylan Larkin. The two seemed to find each other seamlessly on the ice, setting up multiple goals and giving the Red Wings a dangerous top line that fans had been craving.
While Raymond's sophomore season wasn't quite as explosive on the score sheet, where Lucas would finish the 2022-23 season with 17 goals and 28 assists for 45 points. This was a critical year for his development. Every young player faces growing pains, and for Raymond, it was about adjusting to how other teams began game planning for him. As opposing defensive focused more attention on him, Raymond responded by sharpening his all-around game. His defensive play took a step forward as he worked to become a more responsible two-way player. Raymond often found himself in crucial situations tasked to protecting leads late in games. It was during this season that fans saw Raymond's potential to not only be an offensive star, but also a reliable two-way player. Another key factor in Raymond's sophomore season was the Red Wings' constant changing roster. With injuries to key players like Dylan Larkin, as well as trading players like Tyler Bertuzzi, meant Raymond didn't always have the same support level around him. Despite this, however, Raymond still managed to produce at a decent level and was often a driving force in the Red Wings' offense. Entering his third NHL campaign, the expectations for Raymond were higher than ever. Coming into his final year of his entry-level deal, as well as being tasked with becoming a consistent top-line performer and helping lead the offense, Raymond wasted no time in making an impact, showing even more confidence in his play. Through the first 40 games of the season, Raymond posted impressive stats, with 12 goals and 22 assists, putting him on pace to potentially break his previous career highs, which he ultimately did finishing the year with 31 goals, 41 assists for 72 points. What was also noticeable this past season was Raymond's physical development. He added muscle during the offseason, allowing him to be more effective in puck battles along the boards and in front of the net. This added strength, helping him protect the puck better and fight through tight end checking defenses that focused on shutting him down. When this signing was announced, it brought excitement to Red Wings fans, not only because Lucas Raymond will remain a Red Wing for eight more years, but the contract is set to look like a steal in the next three to five years. With AAV at $8 million and with the NHL salary cap projecting to go up, as well as Raymond only being 22 and still tons of time to grow as even more of a top player. In just three seasons in the NHL, Lucas Raymond has a total of 174 points, ranking him second in scoring from his NHL draft class in 2020, only behind Ottawa Senators forward Tim Stutzla. So with this eight-year extension, this contract reflects more than just Raymond's production. It's a symbol of trust. Steve Eisman believes in building a young core around Lucas Raymond, Moritz Sider, and Dylan Larkin. For Raymond, this contract offers security and a chance to develop his game without the looming pressure of contract negotiations. Lucas has been in the NHL for, for uh, three full seasons, uh, 22 years old. Um, I don't know that there's a specific age uh, that a player peaks at. Um, and, but I think, I think he's just entering the early stages of his prime. Uh, I ex fully expect him to be, uh, to become a better hockey player for a couple of reasons. So what's next for Lucas Raymond? The upcoming 2024, 25 season will be pivotal with the newest additions to the Red Wings lineup, including some promising prospects. Raymond is poised to be one of the key drivers in offense this season. If he continues his current trajectory, there's no doubt he could become an NHL All-Star or even contend for awards like the Lady Bing Trophy. Lucas Raymond is more than just a promising young player. He's the future of the Detroit Red Wings. With his skills, hockey sense, new contract, fans have every reason to be excited for what's to come. But that will do it for this breakdown. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this career breakdown and want to see me do others, don't forget to like, comment down below the player you would want to see, and subscribe if you would like to see more Red Wings content. The season is just around the corner, and I can't wait to see what the team does. Hope everybody has a great one.